फॉस्फोरिक एसिड मेडिसिन रूट बाय हैनीमन दो ऑल ऑफ अस आर अवेयर अबाउट दिस मेडिसिन वी ऑल नो दिस मेडिसिन बट ऑफ कोर्स वी डोंट यूज इट वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली and symptoms are such that it is not regularly required on a daily basis but at the same time you have to understand that this was included in metamedica pura and then it was found to be so useful that hanuman further <coughs> increased the symptomatology further improved and included it in the chronic disease also so you can understand how useful this symptom is its symptomatology is there are certain medicines which draws our attention in our clinic sometimes based on the way the patient look sometimes the way they talk sometimes the way they smell sometimes by the symptoms causation sometimes by the location sometimes by the modalities different sphere are important in different medicine acid phos is a medicine that is recognizable at a first glance by look of the patient when you see a patient entering your clinic who is in one word broken down <coughs> who looks like you you who looks to you ki this person his structure is so strong but now he is totally broken down that word should come in mind when you look at a person the whole constitution the physicality and when you talk when you ask symptom then the, even the mental level it is broken down changed modified beyond recognition stoop shoulder enfeebled weak prostrated cannot talk cannot walk he will like as if you have to decide as a physician whether i should talk to him how he will respond because he looks like a person who is not interested in talking not like nagsumika when you look at a nagsumika or natam you the demon or the face itself says ki yeah, this must be very short tempered person not that but a person who is not interested in talking to you in itself that give impression if you get when you look at a patient which weak broken down and feebled prostrated then that is the place where you should think of phosphoric acid especially when you find that the age group is such comparatively younger or very older and when you take history when you ask that you find that somewhere there is a specific cause for this condition the present condition that cause can be a severe bout of any acute disease respective of the name it can be diarrhea it can be dysentery it can be any fever or it can be even mental thing it can be typhoid any acute disease which causes much suffering weakness prostration painful severity and that after that a person who was earlier stronger and now the person is totally broken down enfeebled after that has affected you have to understand this is a soil the individual is a soil on which causations produce is effect the same cause can produce different effect in different person 
cold wind and produces sudden fever so much of fever that the person is thinking he is going to die dryness of mind always want to drink water always thinking i am going to die high rise of temperature not able to sit in a place one medicine it should make you think of one medicine same soil but same causation another soil affected same way air now this person the face has become red tonsils cannot lie restless howling delirium 104 fever same causation soil so here the causation is same may be affecting so many medicine heart broken the person has a disappointment in any affection not only love affair it can be any affair he was studying with much intensity focused yes i will i will be succeeding giving his best could not crack somehow and that failure came as a shock came as a disappointment or it can be even love affair misplaced affection and after that the person is now totally broken down i hope you remember when we were studying arnica we said ki this causation mental causation mental traumatism shock grief but this should affect the person in a way that we can say ki injury that should be the effect the shock the financial shock the disappointment or whatever on a mental level but that should come as a injury but here it is not the injurious effect in that level of arnica but here the effect is it has affected the person in such a way that he has totally broken down now he cannot react he do not react to any stimuli those things which he used to like very much he was very fond of music he was very fond of going around with the friends he was very fond of reading books or whatever anything now he is totally disinterested in that few months back he has purchased a cycle motorcycle or anything about which he was crazy always cleaning it keeping it shine shining and using it now after this exposure to the causation that cycle is lying in a corner carrying dust he is not even looking at it indifference to what that is important to the thing which he loved best it can be an occupation he was very much interested in seeing patient he is a doctor or post graduate trainee or intern or student always used to be first to come in opd give his best always thinking that each patient i will learn something and then some causation and that has now patient totally indifferent not he is interested in anything in getting anything learning anything totally lying chup chap not interacting with anybody sometimes when you ask question he will answer in yes or no and you will get a feeling that next question should not be asked he is not interested in talking to me that is the feeling you get now again i am saying soil causation if i ask you disappointment in love you can tell me 100 medicine pass just to you are sure you will tell now if you take help of repert you can say so many medicine but if you take uh, randomly 5 10 medicine you can always say and each eh? ignisia natramur <laughs> yes 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 and all the soils by the same causation reacts differently how does ignisia react you all know the sensibility become more active hyper nervous hysterical and here the sensitivity is decreased 
So here, in case of acid falls, the person is the demeanor of the person, the look of the person, the way he is affected by this causation that make you think of acid falls. Causation can be anything. Causation can be sexual activity. Causation can be masturbation. Male or female. Too much of sexual activity. Too much of onanism. Onanism. Overdoing it. And as a result, then now the person has totally broken down. Enfeebled. Weakness. Prostration. Not interested in anything. That is what makes you think of and what is this soil? Soil is tubercular. Soil is tubercular. If you remember your miasms and sora, syphilis, psychosis, Hanuman says there are three types of miasm. And there is another, Alan says when there is a combination, sora and syphilis, then there is a tubercular state. I won't say it's a miasm, I will say it's a state. So that combination of sora and syphilis makes a person like acid force, lean thin, fine features, growth fine, impressionable, get affected. That is what your acid force is. It was proved by Master Hanuman, present both in chronic disease and pura. And interestingly, if you see, then you will find that many symptoms are added by herring. Herring's contributions are there. And you remember, if you have ever seen pura or chronic disease, then you will find that references are given from where those symptoms are taken. Those symptoms are taken by proving a toxicology or earlier sources, journals, books. But in this case, in case of acid force, no earlier citation is given. That means it was not used as a medicine before. It may have been used in different way for its chemical properties, for its acidic nature, a very strong acid. But it has never been used as a medicine earlier. Tubercular? Calcarea? Usually, person is growing calcarea calf, except in young girls growing, calcarea force growing, especially the bones growing, that is why weak bones, crooked bones, tubercular growing, phosphorus growing, all these have tubercular base. So here also, in acid force also, fast growing, whose adaptability to this growth is not that much. So it is growing beyond age. Who were originally strong. Who have become debilitated. And what are the causes? Loss of vital fluid. Now that loss of vital fluid can be sexual thing, onanism, masturbation, sexual excess, blood transfusion, he is adding, I am not adding, he is adding, <laughs> bleeding, vomiting, diarrhea, polyuria, so, loss of vital fluid, sexual excess, violent acute disease. When you say violent acute disease is a cause, what, what should first come in your mind? Yes, it first is there. Another medicine that should come in your mind. Sorinum, carbovase, acute disease, sulfur, acute disease, and which has lasted, left the person in a particular way that decides the medicine. The cause and the effect that it has produced will decide the Chagri, long succession of moral emotion, grief, care, disappointed, affection, one after another. 
कॉस्टिकम नाइट्रिक एसिड नाइट्रम्यूर ऑल हैव दिस मेंटल कॉज एफेक्टेड वन आफ्टर अनदर स्पेशली कॉस्टिकम नाइट्रिक एसिड एसिड फॉर्स वेन द पर्सन इज हैविंग व दिस देन अगेन दिस देन अगेन दिस वन आफ्टर अनदर फेल्यूर इन एग्जाम समबडी डाइज डिजीज फाइनेंशियल सो नाउ ही इज नॉट एबल टू कोप अप मेंटली और फिजिकली एंड एज अ रिजल्ट वॉट हैपन्स द फर्स्ट लाइन ब्रोकन डाउन डेबिलिटेटेड ऑल दिस ऑफ अ पर्सन वॉज ओरिजिनली फेरिंगटन से that chronic effect of disappointment in love that is a better ground for giving acid force as far as acute is concerned ignisia is better so when a person is having like you know chronic devdas <laughs> then you can think of acid force and if he is a cute devdas <laughs> then ignisia is better by the way none of these medicines are for devdas huh? because there the again the reaction was different in today's time he became indifferent you know once i don't know where i heard it but i heard a phrase one of the person some interview was going on in the tv and it was asked uh, what what do you like in your leisure time so the person who was giving interview he or she said ki uh, we just do vegetable <laughs> so when it was asked ki what is that so we lie like vegetable <laughs> <laughs> we switch on the tv and then just keep on watching with like vegetable now can allen has said lies like a log huh? so that way the person is here in the case is different the here is person is totally indifferent weak prostrated not interested in anything that is happening around him and then he lies like a log morrison says he lies he watching tv remedy for grief especially when the patient becomes overwhelmed by his loss is unable to respond he is not interested in respond he is unable that should be kept in mind these are not intentional these reactions are not intentional these reactions are made by the soil by the constitution by the person's inherent nature he reacts he is not in, it is not interest knowingly he is becoming indifferent not knowingly but he becomes totally indifferent he becomes weak after the causation he becomes weak apathetic slow to answer fatigue and totally drained out and maybe he switch on a tv maybe some music music he will not like because he has aggravation from music and then he is not watching even not reacting even not aware of what is happening around him again farrington says remote effect of disappointment in love and remote effect of loss of animal feed for acute he is saying china is better indicated when a person so when can can we say it in this way when a person chronic effect so when a person says i have never been well since that disappointment in love or that mental thing or i have never been well since that acute disease if these are the way in which a person manifest a person has said he had a typhoid or nowadays person can come and tell you ki i had a corona i was affected with corona and after that i am like this now what is that fever in which there is too much of bone pain no no not the medicine chicken gunia chicken gunia at the one point of time was like epidemic here so person used to come ki doctor i had chicken gunia and i took some medicine allopathy or homeopathy mostly allopathy and then it is okay i don't have fever and by blood test everything is okay but my pain remains 
my weakness remains i have never been well since that when such expressions you get then you think of medicine like this which have chronic effect weak health not in born weak but who has been affected by a disease that disease is gone and now he is continually weak he could not recover from that loss he could not recover from that episode of acute disease that is what nenem choudhry meant when he said ki weak health originally strong gives way to continual drain upon it and we have broken down see the words i told you how you recognize broken down stoop shoulder slender lean thin emaciated weak blue rings around eyes maybe sunken hypocritic face maybe shy see the selection of words by anim chudi maidenly coy you can use your mobile for some good purpose see the meaning maiden means girls coy means shy so girlishly shy not a girl who is like this a boy who is girlishly shy and why basic reason is why he doesn't want to talk he doesn't want want to put that effort that is required when you are interacting with somebody it is seldom found in tissue changes but they will be found in early stages of patient the nervous condition not a medicine where so much of pathology is covered so much of deeper changes are covered but usually for those serious disease condition either chronic effect but superficial or first stages of the disease for example typhoid fever the person is in typhoid he has gone into some slumber stupor sleep like condition delirium like condition semi comatose condition weakness prostration <coughs> lies like a log from which he is being able to arouse when he is shaken then he will arise he will not go back like ha huh? baptish half of the answer and then goes back and again he will not go back by completing the answer and again go back like anika but here he is totally once he is aroused he is now totally so it is not so deeply affected yet that stage of medicine is for acid force soil i said boric said congenial soil for action of is found in young people who grow rapidly who are overtaxed mentally or physically now what are those persons who are working in multinational company they they work in night and day what is it call 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 center call center call center so you know young people young ambitious people who work in multinational companies the headquarter is having a different time zone so they have to work night shift it sectors where the time is very important ambition you have to fulfill your ambition so you are working day in and competitive world so you are not thinking of your health you are not thinking of food the work comes first there is a timeline you have to fill up that deadline everything comes second so physical mental overtaxed not only the physical but your functions sleep deprived digestive disturbed all functionality disturbed because this is not happening for one day this is happening for days after days and what is the emotional state when you are in that stage you are hyper you are hyper not apathetic and when you are affected then you become apathetic when you be, then you become apathetic whenever the system has been exposed to ravages of acute disease see the language is the same symptoms i am showing these different slides with almost similar thing 
but from different books and stalwarts. The purpose is to, to make you understand how much importance these are. Number one, and number two, to make you realize, because most of you are postgraduate scholars, to make you understand that the source book of all these books are same or similar. And when source book is available, give some extra effort to read the source book. So Borik says, excess grief, loss of vital fluid, obtain condition calling for it, and whatever may be the condition. The soil is this, the causation is this, name of the disease can be pyrosis, flatulence, diarrhea, diabetes, rachitis, periosteal inflammation, etc, etc. Do not stop here. Irrespective of the name of disease, if this is the soil you get, this is the causation you get, this is the effect this causation produces in this particular individual, then whatever may be the name of the disease, you will get result. Sometimes diseases are called incurable. Our modern medicine friends say incurable. And homeopaths say, I have cured this. Don't always doubt them. But understand them that they can have been following this principle. That they have understood the individual and they have gone for the medicine based on, not on the pathology, not on the pathological symptoms, not thinking that diabetes means it will not cure, not thinking that this is a disease means it is irreparable, but they have used the homeopathic principle in true sense. And when you do it, I am sure result will come. As it has come in our stalwarts, as it has come still in people who cure so difficult disease, incurable disease, in your case also, result will come. Mental enfeeblement is the thought that will come into mind when considering what phosphoric acid patient does and looks. When you think of a phosphoric acid patient, when you are exposed to a phosphoric patient, then mental weakness should the word that should strike you. When you look at Arnica, injury should be the word that should strike you. When you look at Belladonna, Violence, violence, that should strike you. When you look at Econite, fear should strike you. When you look at Nakvomika, irritability should strike you. When you look at Hypersulf, sensitivity should strike you. When you look at Calcarea Carb, chilliness should strike you. When you look at Silesia, offensiveness should strike you. That does not mean the other symptoms are to be totally neglected. That only means that when you get these symptoms with so much of intensity, you should think of that medicine. If you can't think of that medicine, something your knowledge of Metro America or the way you have studied your Metro America is not proper. And you know that is what, as I have said earlier also, that is what makes the Bengal homeopathy a bit different from others. Because here the way it is studied, that when a patient comes, it starts clicking. Your mental computer starts clicking. And you ask a question and then symptoms, permutation and combination. Some medicines are included, some medicines are excluded. You ask next question, some are included and some are excluded. This is how keep on working. But for that, that you should be able to exclude, you should be able to include, that knowledge of mental medical has to be there. That is important. You should study metamedica like that. So, mind, especially its emotional side, in addition, it's its influence, sensory nerves, sexual symptoms, and bones. That's fear of action, as Fatak has said. Acid, you know, there's a concept of the study of metamedica by group, acid group. Kali group, Magnesia group, and all this comes from idiotic group. <laughs> because we are talking about individualization. We are talking about every person is different from the next person. 
we are talking about from the same person if five persons are the same disease five persons are affected then every person is different and then you are talking about group how it is possible it can be a way to remember Metamedica. It cannot be a way to understand Metamedica. It cannot be become a way to prescribe. If you do that, then don't ever write Cali group, a uh, Cali car, write Cali group 30. That you could not, you will not do. So don't study that way. Anyway, what here it is said, Boric says, ki acidity. In all the acid medicine, not acidity, in all the acid medicine, there are certain traits that is common. Acidity, in all the acid, one of the common trait is debility. debility. The debility, and always remember the exception, huh? Ah, that is important. So, acidity, uh, sorry, again, acid, debility, except nervous exhaustion but this debility has one exception in case of acid fossils diarrhea a small child passes diarrhea so watery so loose that it overcomes the this thing diaper where's the bed so watery but the child is still active, not weakness and prostrated and debilitated as the diarrhea should have used. The exception should also be remembered. The mind seems tired when he questions, answers slowly or does not speak, but only looks at the question. He is too tired to talk or even think. And sometimes he says, don't talk to me. Let me be alone. Sometimes he don't want to talk. He looks at you. And when he is focused, then he said, who called you? I am not sick. Arnika. Arnika. Roughly. Rudely. To a person otherwise to whom he is very polite. But he is talking roughly. And when there is a child, you look at him, he looks at you, and when he opens your mouth, his mouth, you think, why I have come? Because he gives such a, you know, top class galis. <laughs> First, Antip Guru. Then, I push me, Bola. Of course, there are so many other medicines. He cannot think what he wishes to see, he cannot frame his answers to question because the mind is enfeebled, weak, prostrated, not interested, indifferent. So all these are combined together. The weakness, the prostration, the enfeeblement, the nervous weakness, the mental weakness, all these are combined together. As a result, what you get? He don't know how to respond, frame the answers. And sometimes because of that, or sometimes because when he don't want to talk, the answers ultimately comes mostly in yes or quite weak. But he is so weak, prostrated, unable to get up, lies like a log, not sleeping. But if he is sleeping for a short time, he is able to again refreshed there is another medicine who is very refreshed working day and night do not get tired and after working others need 4 hour 5 hour 8 hour sleep for him half hour sleep is okay and he is again ready to work huh? fluoric acid, acid. cochlear is just opposite cochlear is just opposite fluoric acid and here he is weak but that weakness, prostration, enfeeblement, all these are better by After short sleep only, it is refreshing to him. Another characteristic connection with the debility of phosphoric acid is that the weakness is very great, 
but patient is C phosphorus amelioration by the short sleep, but that is not marked by short sleep. Sleep in general is amelorated. Mental debility first, physical comes later. From center to very far. And such things when happen are to be caution. Mental fear usually from periphery to center. From less important to more important. But here the mental enfeeblement comes first. And then, but luckily, the enfeeblement in case of phosphoric acid is limited only to this indifference. Stupor of sleep, stupidity. For not able to remember, not able to think, confusion of mind, only limited to that. Not very deeply acting in the functions of brain. So that is one good sign. In every case, we find the mental symptoms are the first to develop. Kent says, the remedy runs from mental to physical, from brain to the muscles. Parrington, the man, this debility which is characteristic of drug is characterized by indifference or apathy, by torpidity of both mind and body, by complete sensorial depression. The senses, the way you should react, the functions of the sensorium, that is debil depressed. That is not function. When I am saying this, in back of your mind, the causation should always be there. What are the causes? Affection, mental affection, anger, chagrin, sexual, or mental affection one after another. One after another. He says, he is all right physically, can work, can exercise. But the mind is tired, there is mental apathy, he cannot add up a column of figure, cannot read the newspaper, carry the trend of thought, cannot connect circumstance, yet he can exercise, can go out and walk in the first phase. When the things have just started to happen, the mind has just, in case of phosphoric acid, the mind has just been started to affect it. As we have seen, the mind first, then the body. So mind has just started to be affected. So in the first phase, initial phase, when the mind has just started to affect it, so what happens physically? Physically he is able to do work, violent work, exercise, hard work, but mentally he has that fatigue. And if that continues, so what will happen? It will go down to physical level. Comparison with muriatic acid, muscular prostration comes first, the opposite, phosphoric acid, the mind seem, the muscle seems strong, but the mind has. So opposite condition, both acid, but opposite condition. <coughs> mind. The mind affection can be manifested in different way. Enfeeblement, weakness, prostration of the mind can be expressed. How that is to be expressed? How the person will say, I have weakness of mind. This is how he will say. He is not able to remember. He is not able to calculate math. He is forgetting things. He is confused in his mind. He cannot remember names. He is working in an office or he is a boss of an office. But he cannot remember the names of his employees which have been there for so long. He is confused about them. That is what the weakness of mind first starts with. He forgets the name of those in his family, a businessman forget the name of his clerk, Kent, confused. Clark says, when reading a thousand other thoughts come into his head, he could not rightly comprehend anything that he had read, becomes as a dark in head and immediately forgot all. Such state of mind and the senses are frequently observed under the influence of grief and over depressing emotion from overstudy and in the subject of venereal excess and seminal loss. Now the first symptom, this symptom I have been seeing since 1997. 
when I joined teaching profession of homeopathic student because I find it very common in homeopathic student after reading this everything seems dark <laughs> especially organon the things become dark cannot remember and especially during exam I'm not talking of other causes huh? <laughs> so here due to mental exertion and brain fag is also an indication for acid force so whether mental exertion or because of weakness of mind, he is reading but he is not able to comprehend that, grasp that. So everything seems washed out. Clark has given a case. A married woman, 36, mother of 8, had for some time been melancholic and depressed so as unable to fulfill her household duties. There was no discoverable mental cause. Aggravation by sudden death of a family member. The beginning of the illness was apparent a weakness of the stomach, small appetite, always pain, distension after eating. The food seemed to lie long in the stomach undigested. Now ask yourself honestly. We are discussing today acid force, so you will say acid force. But had we not been discussing acid force, and this case was given, it would have been very difficult to think of acid force. Because we will be thinking of the presenting complaint, only we will be thinking of the physicality, or we will be thinking of the causation. But when you combine it and forget the pathology, the why it causes, how it causes, the modern concept of causation etiology and you think in the homeopathic way so there is a very clear cut causation sudden death in the family and that had produced these symptoms where the person is not like ignatia where the person is not like natremure where the person sudden death not like gelsemium or other sudden causation arnica is one of them Aconite is one of them, none of them, then your prescription for acid force will be more easy. And then you can think of acid force. This is what is required from you. We should not be biased. When Hanneman says your physician should not be biased, that is what he meant. With time, it is said that with time, the more he practices homeopathic doctor, his number of medicine in his medicine chest becomes smaller and smaller. I'm not discussing it is right or wrong. I'm just asking you, when you prescribe, when you think of medicine, when you work out a case, try to be as biased as unbiased as possible. Not get, uh, you know, convinced or biased or directed by your experience or somebody else's experience. Another case. Lurje has given, Lurje, you know, have you heard of Lurje? Huh? Arthur Lurje. So, cured with acid force, a German woman, 66, of chronic early morning, painless diarrhea. After the failure of podophyllum and partial success with gelsemium. The patient had been ill two years, dating from the time she has come to Brooklyn, USA, from Germany, to be near her daughters. One of the latter, means the daughter, gave Lurje the keynote of case by telling him, that her mother was homesick and wanted to return to Germany, though she had not a single relative there. <coughs> now, when you have a relative, daughter, and you go, want to go back, it is natural, nothing wrong in it. But the pointer is that there is nobody and still you want to go back. That is the point. And the patient has been ill for two years since the causation came back. So acid force, also medicine for home sick. Listless, apathetic, indifferent to the affairs of life, prostrated and stupefied with grief to those things that used to be most interested, especially if there is debility and message. I want you to repeat in your mind. Understand first the meaning.
prostrated and stupefied are you aware of the meaning stupefied semi comatose still like a statue not able to respond not able to grasp repeat in your mind understanding the meaning stupefied from grief when this grief is affecting a person different person different re way react somebody want to commit suicide somebody want to take revenge somebody goes to alcohol somebody goes to other methods of self destruction here the person is affected in such a way that he is stupefied indifference not reacting mind is in a dull condition forgetting everything around him that is acid fast if you understand this then you understand acid fast and then not only this cause grief but it can be any cause but it will affect the person in that condition that stupefaction condition will be produced listless condition indifference condition will be produced patient is easily aroused and then is fully unconscious now this particular slide i want to you to read it again i hope you know who was clark <coughs> clark was a physician from london and clark has one of the largest contribution to homeopathic literature as well as he was a very busy practitioner and his dedication to hard work and study was so much that it is said at that time the vehicle was horse ridden horse driven carriages so from one place to another when he has to travel he has made a office in his carriage so that his time is not wasted and he is studying and writing there he was such a dedicated person hard working person and when he is saying this keynote of phosphoric acid stupor is here he is telling you the whole gist of homeopathic keynotes read it again once more he is not tell telling you keynote of acid phos he is telling you keynote of stupor of acid phos so keynote symptoms are not of the medicine the stupor can be a medicine which can be common to 500 medicines but each medicine will have different type of stupor and if you understand the way it is differentiated that is the keynote and that keynote again is not of the as it falls but of the so weakness so many meds but as it falls will have a keynote of weakness diarrhea so many meds as it falls will have a keynote of diarrhea the keynote is to be understood in this way if you understand that you will be able to understand the allen scheme you will understand how to use the allen scheme settled despair what is despair hopeless. hopeless what is settled despair why it is important that you should read many books have you heard of a book called 100 books of homeopathy should read <laughs> have you ever read any page of that book please don't ask that why more than one book is to be referred because this is symptom is of boring explanation is given by nash nash says there is not the nervous twitching of ignatia hopeless again happy again sad again laughing again this contradictory that not of that but a settled obstinate from which it is remove difficult to remove that type of hopelessness that type of despair 
सेटल डेस्पेयर जनरल वीकनेस और प्रोस्ट्रेशन नाउ डेलीरियम एज वी डिस्कस कर लिया द पर्सन इज इजी टू बी अराउज बिकॉज नॉट सो डीपली अफेक्टेड द सेंसोरियम इज अफेक्टेड बट नॉट सो डीपली अफेक्टेड मेन इज अराउज इज इज टोटली अवेक मटरिंग अनइंटेलिजिबल लाइज इन अटूपर और अ स्टूपिड स्लीप अनकनसियसनेस of all that is going on around when arouse is fully conscious answers slowly correctly and relapses into the sensation as if the chair this is a peculiar thing i'm not usually happen sometimes as if this is rising i am sitting and totally you become shishasan like sensation as if the chair he was sitting on was rising as if the feet were rising until he stood on his head this way the symptoms occur for a patient of skinner fatak says weakness and debility common to all acid is very marked except diarrhea young person growing very fast affected with palpitation affected with grief just entering teen is just being aware of his genitalia and sexual thing and started to abuse <coughs> then totally broken down not able to concentrate everybody is saying in the family what happened to him he is not studying he is not sitting chup chap ghar mein pada rehta hai lying like not talking to anybody and there is a feeling of guilt inside the person that is also another important thing sexual excess maybe masturbation maybe on anism maybe anything but there is a feeling of guilt he knows what i am doing is wrong culpability of the act that is there and that is sometimes expressed in the face that look he will be shy he will not talk with you not meet your eyes and that is what makes a person acid fast growing pains growing too tall <coughs> now it says kalkaria ka grows but too fat pain in back and limbs as if beaten pain in the bones because inflammation of the bone fast growing person inflammation of the bone rachitis periostitis name of the disease is indifferent immaterial but pain is there formication as if some ants are crawling around now clark has so many peculiar sensation as if intoxicated as if head would burst feet would go up weight in the head brain crushed eye wall too large as if white of egg has dried on the face the face become you know when there is a starch on the face there is a particular sensation that type of sensation lower jaw were going to break nausea this symptom we will come later as if stomach being balanced heavy load and scrolling uterus as if filled with wind all these type of peculiar sensation and then another symptom is nausea as if from pallet what i go from ankles nausea in rectum yes ruta bbc here the question is how the patient will express this <laughs> now somebody must have expressed it otherwise how it came to be a symptom from proving don't doubt our stalwarts this was added by herring nausea in the palate this was added so these are some of the symptoms if you ever in your lifetime get and you think of the medicine then it has to act and act like magic these are so rare and peculiar symptoms ulcers with very offensive pus pain periosteal pain bone pain syphilitic pain sore and syphilis 
cancer pain then you can think of to relieve the cancer pain somnolency what is somnolency somnolency is sleepiness always sleep drowsy onanism when the patient is greatly distressed by culpability of the act he knows i have done something wrong that guilty feeling is there and that guilty feeling may come on the face also the expression also impotence maybe having multiple emissions in the night premature ejaculation no, imperfect erection but not total total impotency is more in selenium like selenium acid force may have passing out of seminal discharge when stressing for stool acid force for soft stool but selenium constipated when prosic then and this is a symptom you will get in opd i'm telling you when patient comes and if your surrounding is proper if you are able to have that you know patient doctor relationship that rapport when he can share with you then this is a symptom which is very commonly found you will get this symptom. sexual power deficient <laughs> testicle tender swollen parts relaxed during embrace frequent emission profuse emission debilitating emission after coitus most desire after several in one night a bash sad hopeless of cure lascivious dreams with emission headache now acid force is another very good medicine but rarely you we rarely use it for headache we don't usually think of acid force it has all the symptoms that is commonly found when you are over using your eyes for reading for mobile for computer for anything when you are over using then with that comes the eye tiredness and that comes the heaviness in the head with that comes the occipital headache that goes from back to forward especially young girls especially the girls who are no other symptoms has to be there so especially girls who are growing very fast especially those girls who are mentally weakened by study they must study so much but they are weakened then so headache crushing weight on the vertex from long lasting grief or exhausted nerves intoxicant neck usually from behind forward least motion aggravates noise especially music and aberration by complete line down headache of school girls from eye strain or over use of eyes of student who are growing to how this headache will be relieved how this headache will be relieved analogy you know it we have discussed short short nap short nap will relieve the headache stupefying confusing headache when there is a headache he don't want to talk to anybody he is not able to read that nagging thing is there so he is not able to concentrate not interacting with anybody confusion is the by headache from overused eyes premature graying hair turns gray early flaxen falls off especially after grief or sorrow kent has differentiated falling out of hair falling of the hair from genital whisker eyebrows testicle it is closely related to natremur and selenium in falling out of the hair selenium has falling out the hair from the head eyebrows lashes beard genital from all over the body natremur causes the hair to become very thin during confinement the hair falls from the joint diarrhea diarrhea we have studied we have discussed a rumbling gas formation and when with the rumbling he goes to stool that stool is watery loose too much so much that it should cause weakness 
it causes everything except weakness. That is a terrible thing. That is very peculiar thing. And that is what the acid falls diarrhea is. White, watery, involuntary, painless, much flatter, not specially exhausting. Copious, long continued, do not seem to exhaust or weaken the patient. Has been suffering since long. But in spite of that, no weakness. Preceded by rumbling, but not much weakness. Farrington. Loss of body fluid produce extreme weakness, mind and body, abashed, sad state of mind, despair of cure, in one drain which does not debilitate except diarrhea. All other are causing extreme weakness, prostration, except for diarrhea. Child, stool runs over the mother's cloth. All symptoms are there except debilitating. Diarrhea often ameliorate many of the symptoms that discharge, not all discharge, is only diarrhea. Diarrhea seems to get relieve all other complaints. Patients feel comfortable, free and happy. Then there is a podophyllum and phosphoric acid. Both are very good medicine for diarrhea. Podophyllum, I hope you know. The first P is Profuse. Prostration. And there is the difference. Profuse, both can have. Offensiveness, not so much in acid falls. Polychromatic, not so much in acid falls. Putrid, not so much in acid falls. Painless, maybe in acid falls. But prostration, not in acid falls, only in case of phosphoric acid. Stomach refuses to do its work. Food remain in the stomach and sour, sour vomiting, old dyspeptics with brain fag, complaints from acid, drink, cold drink, rich food. When you take these too much, then no. Now, they, see, this combination of common symptoms, that again sometimes points to a medicine. If you just think of chronic dyspepsia, person who is having this indigestion and dyspepsia since long, you may not think of acid falls. If you think of brain fag, you will think of so many medicines, you may not think of acid falls. But if you combine this, then you will think of acid falls. So sometimes this combination should be kept in mind. Dyspepsia of old person. But when I say dyspepsia in old person who are habituated tea drinker, you are thinking of one medicine. Ah, very good. Abyss? Nigra or canadensis? Nigra. Nigra. Symptoms following sour food and drink. Hanneman says unquenchable thirst for cold water, uh, cold milk. Almost like rust talks. Both are very good medicine for typhoid, bony pains, typhoid, will show you. Urine, you know, Farrington, E.A. Farrington, he was a great clinician. His book, Clinical Materia Medica, that has wonderful way of comparison. And it is very much based on his own clinical observation. You should read someday. And Farrington is saying, the acid falls I use for diabetes. Where this symptom will be present? Milky urine, chyluria, or not so milky, just turbid urine, profuse, polyuria, causation has to be there. That causation can be an acute disease. The person has one episode of acute disease after he has developed di uh, diabetes. You will get patient. The patient has corona. And after that, now he is suffering from diabetes. But symptoms have to be there. Looks like milk mixed with jelly-like blood, bloody pieces. Decomposes rapidly. Profuse urination at night of clear watery urine. Which forms a white cloud at once. Frequent, profuse, 
watery, milky, preceded by anxiety, followed by burning. Farrington says, I have used it for diabetes with great benefit. Polyuria and dry mouth and throat giving gives leading correspondence for fall, acid falls in diabetes. And then where is in, up to here, you cannot think of acid falls because there are so many other metrics. But the next line says, when there is an addition, now here is acid falls. History of sexual excess, severe mental emotional overstrain, then your indication become very easy. It suits the woman who has been nursing her child a long time, vital fluid, and who gives much milk when she becomes tired, weakly, or other symptoms of acid for start developing. Men says too early, profuse with pain in liver, itching, yellow leucoria. It's a wonderful medicine for splenomegaly. Huh? Acid force is a wonderful medicine for splenomegaly. We may find in acid force a remedy for uterine or ovarian disease. But from remotely emotional disease. When there is an emotional cause and that is giving rise to some ovarian disease, irrespective of the name, irrespective of the pathology or uterine complication, then medicine like acid force comes into play. Scanty health deteriorated from nursing, overuse, over nursing. Sunlight, aversion, gives color, sees color as if a rainbow. Amblyopia in masturbators. Exalted sensitiveness to light, sound and odors. Odors take away his breath. Clark says a remarkable effect was noted by B. Baker, one of the Hanimans proving right pupil become widely dilated and the left was normal. The more he strained the eye, the wider the pupil become dilated until the iris almost dilated. Now, these are not a symptom which you will get regularly. But it is important to keep somewhere in your mind as a reserve. Because once in a lifetime you get, and there your magic has to happen. Typhoid lies like a log. Stupor, stupidity, easy to awake delirious state, then he is again going back into that state. Regardless of surrounding, intestinal hemorrhage, blood is dark, patient is inclined to answer any question. His answers are short, generally yes or no, and made in a way to show that it is annoying for him to speak. He don't want to be talked, he don't want to be asked further questions. Lies in a stupor, in a stupid sleep, unconsciousness, Follow all that is going around him. But when aroused, he is fully conscious. So you would not expect to give the drug in advanced days when the stupor is complete and from where it is difficult to arouse the person. Then you cannot give this medicine. This medicine will be only in that stage, up to that stage, where it has not so much of affected the sensorium and brain that you cannot just arouse the patient. When it has affected, then you have to think of other medicines. There are other medicines. But for this level, that is also important. The staging of the medicine is open. When it is, see, pace, depth, sequence, all these are important for a medicine. The symptomatology has to be understood. So depth, first stage, second stage, because there are so many medicines for tonsillitis, so many medicines for fever. Just let us take off typhoid. You have medicine like Rustox, simple. You have medicine like Acid Phos, simple. You have medicine like Typhoidinum. You have medicine like Byro uh, Pyrozen, Baptisia. All these are medicines are for Typhoid. So which stage? Not only symptomatology. The level to which pathology is affected. That also need to be understood. Nosebleed, which do not give relief. But in Rustox, it gets rid. Low types of fever. Causation. Care, chagrin, grief, sorrow, homesickness. 
sleepy disposed to weep night sweat towards morning ailments from grief or disappointed love growing too rapidly from sexual excess grief sorrow homesickness unfortunate love Cla uh, nash sorry it is not nash it should be clark bad news grief <coughs> chagrin disappointed love homesickness separation from home loss of fluid sexual excess then it becomes interesting injuries over lifting over study shock shock not in a physical sense shock in a mental sense that when grief sorrow all these things or any good news bad news has affected that it has produced such a level of affection that that person is not able to react murti ho gaya statue he is not talking to anybody he is not you know in old movies have you seen old hindi movies after somebody death there was a stage when she was not talking to anybody and then they were saying tum ro usko rulao that was the prescription because if that stays for long time they did not know actually acid phos <laughs> otherwise they would have thought of acid phos for such stays and too much of crying how like making everybody cry <laughs> hysterical reaction nishya first ignisia mental affection causes uh, aggravation loss of vital fluid seminal self abuse sexual excess talking causes weakness in chest better from keeping warm worse from exertion from being talked to loss of vital fluid everything impeded circulation causing aggravation of symptoms coffee is the antidote according to boric and acid phos acts well before or after china in colicative set diarrhea debility after nakzumika in so we can conclude acid phos to be a medicine to be recognized by the way the patient comes tall slender prostrated stupefied condition not reacting to external stimulus bent down and this person if you go in the causation you will find sexual excess grief sorrow or some acute disease or all these mental causes happening one after another it is a very wonderful medicine for all these things happening in chronic sense when the person is affected for a long period of time having this mental fear and physicality headache young girls with this causation diarrhea except weakness except in diarrhea so acid phos with tubercular base and this wonderful symptoms thank you very much